Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. My name is Lilia, and today's options lesson is about building a portfolio of good stocks and ETFs. In the last three weeks, I made several videos about what to do when there is a massive sell-off in the stock market. These types of sell-offs are rare, and when they happen, it's time to consider selling some put options or jumping in and buying some good stocks and good ETFs so you can build a portfolio for long-term investing. So part of your job as a investor is to always have a watch list of good stocks and ETFs. So when these sell-offs happen, you will be prepared to take action. Let's jump over to Thinkorswim and take a look at one of the positions that I placed during the sell-off. This trade was done on March 18, 2020, and I have sold a put option on the XLP Consumer Staples ETF. This is not a stock, but it is an ETF, which is a collection of stocks. The strike price of the put option was $45, and the expiration date was April 17. I placed a trade on March 18, so this was a 30-day trade. Let's take a look at the charts and see what this looked like on March 18. This is a one-year daily chart of XLP and I placed a trade on March 18, which was right there. On March 18, XLP was trading below, I'm sorry, it was trading between 53.30 and $57. So it was about a $4 range that day. Right after I sold my put option, XLP continued to drop for another four or five days. It hit a low of 47.66 and then started rising. Today, March 31st, XLP is trading at around $55. So it has recovered over $7 in a little over a week. What we see here is a death cross, which means that potentially this could be a bearish signal moving forward. A death cross means that the 50-day moving average, the red line, crosses below the 200-day moving average. So looking at this chart, I can see a few things happening. The 50-day moving average, which is trending down, could now become my new resistance which means that if XLP continues to rise, it may hit the 50-day moving average and go back down. However, if we have good news about the economy, then XLP could break through the moving average, the resistance, and continue higher. And because I don't have a crystal ball, I really have no idea what's going to happen in the future. As I mentioned earlier, XLP is the Spiders Consumer Staples ETF. And during a recession, consumer staple stocks tend to do a little bit better than the growth stocks. Which means that I would not expect the consumer staple stocks to plunge as much as growth stocks. So when I placed this trade on March 18, I was willing to take the risk of assignment, which means that if XLP drops below 45 by the expiration date of April 17, then I'm going to get assigned 100 shares of XLP and assignment means that I have to buy 100 shares of XLP at $45 per share. And that is a risk that I am willing to take. 
When I placed a trade on March 18, I received a premium or credit of $1.23. It's under this column here called the trade price. Today, I could buy back my put option for about 26 or 27 cents. The difference between my original credit and today's buyback price is going to be my profit. And coming over here under PL Open, you can see that I have a profit of about $96. This means that if I close a trade today, I can walk away with a profit of $96. The way to close this trade is by buying back my short put option. The question is, should I do it today or should I wait? Right now, XLP is trading at around $55. My strike price is $45. So at the moment, I'm still about $10 out of the money, which means that my strike price it's $10 below the current market price of XLP. According to the statistics, there's still about a 9% chance that this option could end up in the money in 17 days. That's my expiration date. Here's my position. Right now, this put option is trading between 17 cents and 31 cents. That's kind of a wide bid ask, unfortunately. So I won't be able to get the best price if I close it out today. Let me ask you this question. If you had done this trade, would you close the trade today or would you leave it open and try to get a little more money out of the trade? If you close the trade today, you have a nice profit of $97 approximately. And you'll free up the capital and you can move on to the next trade. If you leave the trade open and XLP goes back down, this profit will shrink a little and your option may even end up in the money in the next 17 days. If that is a risk you're willing to take, then you can leave the trade open. If you do not wish to get assigned, then it kind of makes sense to close a trade today and move on to something else. This trade is successful, so why not close it, right? Normally, I would close these trades out when I've achieved 50% of the max profit. The max profit is $123. I've got one contract here. So normally, I would have closed this thing out at a buyback price of about $0.60. Cents. Right now, I can buy it back for about $0.24. Cents. So this profit is actually higher than 50% of max. I'm going to be a responsible trader and go ahead and buy back my short put so I can close out this trade, take my profits, and move on to a new trade. So to close out a short put option, all you need to do is highlight the position, right click on the mouse select create closing order and select buy right now this put option is trading between 18 cents and 31 cents i'm going to try to get it at the mid price this is the market price right now 31 cents i don't really want to pay 31 cents so i'm going to aim for something in between 18 cents and 31 cents my trade just filled at 24 cents. So if I come back over to my positions, I can see that the quantity shows a zero. That means this trade is now closed and it is officially finished. So I am no longer at risk of assignment. Here is my opening trade on March 18, receiving a credit of $123 minus commissions. Here is my closing trade today, March 31st. Buying back my put at 24 cents. One contract is a debit of $24. So my profit is the original credit of 123 minus 24. So it's about 
99-ish. About 99-ish. So this was a good trade. It was successful. Lasted about 13 days. Not too bad. If you learned something from this lesson, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Patreon channel. I will have more information about my Patreon channel in the description below. Thank you for watching and remember to share the knowledge and spread the wealth.